You don't have a good help me run. Yeah, that's right. They also say waking up to upbeat music helps move your brain forward. So what's your routine like? Is it a struggle for you? Are you kind of, you hear that alarm, you got to jump out of bed? Uh, that alarm, alarm goes off. It probably beeps once, maybe twice. Mm -hmm. And I'm up and I'm out. So is it a beep? Is it a, it is, is it a yeah, typical? It's the, it's the alarm on the phone. Okay. Yeah, it's the alarm on the phone. It, it beeps twice at mm -hmm. the most and I'm up and I'm out. Uh, you know, obviously take a shower and, and, and get ready. Yeah. And as soon as I'm done, the dogs who sleep in the bedroom, mm -hmm. they know, like they can even just hear like the belt buckle, like bu buckling, like right. me p taking the belt off. As soon as I hear that, I can hear them get up and they are waiting right outside the door. It's so funny how it changes with dogs and I'll get to that in a moment. Yeah. But growing up, I used to like to set my alarm clock to the radio mm -hmm. function. That way I'd wake up to music or right. at least something not eh, 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 I know. Eh. That would drive you nuts yeah. in the morning. And sometimes I'd hit snooze and then next thing you know, my mom was running in going, you're gonna miss you the gotta bus. You gotta get up, get up. <laughs> um, but now I'm, it's so easy for me to get up and the dog is definitely mm -hmm. part of it. My alarm goes off and he shoots out of his bed because he'll sleep in his bed in, in our bedroom. Right. Shoots out of his bed, paws are up on the bed. Yeah, he's ready Come to go. On. Let's, Let's go. do this. Let's go. Because he knows I'm going to let him out and feed him right. at that time. Yeah. So it's just part of the routine. And it's, you know what? It, if you try and go back to bed every so often, boom, there is pause well, again saying, come on. Yeah. I know it's time. Every morning, it's almost exactly the same time because even like I will I will feed them, they'll eat, and then yep. I'll get the two of them and we'll go outside. And the woman who delivers the uh, the newspapers every day, mm -hmm. I mean, it's like clockwork as, yes. you're, as you're passing by. Or if one of us doesn't see each other, you know that mm -hmm. you're off, off schedule all the time. But you wait, you give the morning wave, they do their thing, I'm back in, I make shake for myself, I make yep. breakfast for myself, I get my lunch ready, and I'm out the door. I, I, I feel like we have very similar mornings in terms of efficiency. Sure. I want to get as much done as possible, and I want to leave, I want to like even clean up the dishes from the night before, right. whatever it is. I don't want to leave with a mess. I want you know to come home and clean, clean home. Clean house. Right. Exactly. So I like to have a lot to do in the morning because I feel like it helps me wake up. Right. Once I get in the car, I'm, I feel like I'm ready for the day. Yeah. I like starting my days earlier now. Even on the weekends. You're up early. I'm up early. Yeah. Not as early right. as when my alarm would go off. But I like to be efficient. I like to start the day. I don't want to waste yeah. it. Now when I get up at 5 o'clock, I used to get up at 3.30 in the morning. Ooh, and it wasn't was... like 3.31. It was 3.30. Mm -hmm. I'd be up and I would be ready to go and out the door. Funny you should say that. Do you set random times in your alarms? No, no, like it's, it was only, like some people will go through and you know how you can make like a list like yeah. it's 3.30, uh, 3.35. No, mm -hmm. it's, it was 3.30, the alarm would go off, like two beeps and I'd be up and yeah. I'd be out. Because I knew if I laid there, I'd but be But sometimes it. it's like, oh, 5.28 oh, and yeah, you, know, yeah, you yeah. set it for yeah. kind of odd times. Yeah. I do have two alarms that I set. I, nine times out of 10, I'll wake up to the first one. Right. Occasionally there are those days though that you just want a little extra 10 minutes. So I know if I shut off the yeah, first no. one, I, I'm up later. I'm up. That. All right. Oh. Now let's send things over. Oh, let's send things Sound over to Brendan. Sound asleep. Hey, oh, wake up. come on. So I, uh, we've had this discussion, guys. You know I loathe waking up in the morning. You, I, you uh, have a ton of time. It's awful. It's like I've just been born. I have no <laughs> idea where, where I where am. Where am I? I? Or I've been like, a, I'm like a tranquilized rhinoceros. Sure. Yeah. I don't know where I am. Stumbling I around. just hate the, the, the whole process. I have four alarms. One's across the room. I pay, That's smart. I pay the kids in the neighborhood to come bang on my door. <laughs> I <Right> just, <laughs> after they get over the moat, of course. But uh, it's a tough process for me. But once I'm up, I usually can get going. I put like some, some music on, something mm -hmm. like the Howard Stern show, something sure. to get me going in the morning yeah. to get me focused. And so coffee. I can, yeah, and coffee around 8 a.m. so I can be right. ready for all of you like this. Well, here now is what our social media friends have to say. Sandy Fogel is up first for us. She just gets up sharing, never need an alarm clock. There you go. Some people can just wake up and be raring to go. I'm very envious of that. Dennis Weiner is up next for us saying, in part, I was always an early riser and when someone was critical of this, I was quick to point out that I accomplished more before noon than some of these complainers accomplished in a week. Yeah, you can get a lot done if you get up and at him. Jack Gibbs chimes in and due to my advanced age, I am now programmed. I don't need an alarm to get up, but when I do wake up, I typically snooze for another 5, 10, 15, or 30 minutes, <laughs> whatever I can fit in. I certainly understand that. And William Gilmore closes things out sharing, I wake up by my four-legged alarm clock and I'm off 
to start a great day. Michaela nodding, yeah, when the pets get involved, sometimes that's all you need. Thanks, everyone. We love when you chime in. See, I'm not even awake. I'm leaning in because I don't have the strength to stand up straight. <laughs> Leave your comments on the bus topic each morning on Facebook, and we may even read yours right here on the show. You can also like and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. All of those are easily found at The Roadshow. For now, I'm going to go back to bed, squeeze in a quick nap. We'll take it away, bud. We're in The Roadshow Kitchen. We're going to do some fireball